Hey everyone, what is going on? So we have another showcase for you today in the Mountain Cup, but before we begin, I just wanted to let you know, some of you already know, my brother actually has a kidney cancer, he was diagnosed with it, and it was very scary once that diagnosis came back. Luckily, very luckily, very fortunate, it's not serious, uh, it can be removed. But it's still going to be super expensive. The insurance is not going to cover all of it. So I did set up a GoFundMe. If you're able to help, the link will be in the description down below. If not, sharing it on social media would help out tremendously. And believe me, my family, we all greatly, greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much for taking the time to at least listen. But yeah, link in the description down below. But let's go ahead and move on to the team. So Mountain Cup, I'm using Yankus' team. Uh, he did feature this team, I think, before Mountain Cup actually came out. It's going to be Diggers before us as an Cavalier. I decided to give it a try. Huge shout out to him. And the team did well. Um, yeah, I'm going to be trying out other teams. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and dive right into it and see what we got going on for us with these battles. So, uh, yeah, Diggers be a delete for us last, I would say it's a safe swap, and then S Cavalier, so Diggers be into a bomber, so not really that great, right? We do have Fire Punch, which is double super effective, so it's not that bad, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and switch out, uh, and out comes a Frost S. so I'm gonna go ahead and go straight Shadow Ball right now, because I'm thinking, well, maybe my opponent will call the bait, and guess what? They call the bait. Goodbye, Frostless. Out comes Obama Snow. I'm going to be able to CMP tie to the Avalanche. Let's go. So Avalanche coming out right now, and it's going to be doing massive damage or picking up a shield. It does pick up that shield. You love to see it. So my opponent will hit me with an energy ball, but Frostless at this point in time did its job. My opponent will get farm, but that is okay. I'm going to be able to bring in S Cavalier, which is going to resist all the moves that Obama Snow has. It does double resist that energy ball, so it's definitely going to be weather ball that my opponent throws at me, but I can still go ahead and take that jet fine. Out comes Runarikis, and Diggersby does really well against Runarikis. It double resists the Shadow Ball. Sand Tomb is a weak move, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. Rock Tomb, if they happen to have it. We resist that as well. Now, as you can see, I have Hyper Beam on my Diggersby. That was an accident, uh, so I switch it off after this battle. <laughs> Obviously, Earthquake would have helped tremendously in this battle, but that's okay uh, because it's still looking really good for me. I'm actually going to be able to get that shield. Uh, I wasn't even shield baiting. I just had to go for the Fire Punch because Hyper Beam is doubles. Uh, resisted so my opponent is going to be able to fire back with a sand tomb but again i can go ahead and take that just fine i do go ahead and throw my fire punch right now no problem i'm going to go ahead and switch into s cavalier get off this drill run it's not going to be enough to ko but it will get the rune of Icus very low so there we go i'm able to counter it down uh, and now of course S. Cavalier does really well against Obama Snow. I'd be able to make it to Omega Horn and take that game. Good game. Moving on, Diggers beat into S. Cavalier. Okay, so this is actually not that bad either. I, I mean, I guess like the last matchup with Diggers beat is not that bad either against the Obama Snow uh, because the Fire Punch is double super effective. But uh, my opponent actually makes an attempted catch. I do not throw, and my opponent brings in Lapras. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my S. Cavalier. Um... And I'm counting, I'm going to throw in CMP to make sure I get as much farm as possible. And yeah, Mega Horn would be enough to KO. I didn't know that they would shield, so that's why I threw the Mega Horn over the drill run. I'm going to go ahead and shield up this Surf, and I'm going to throw on CMP again. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot count it down. I wanted to see if I could count it down. I'm not able to, so I do go ahead and throw on CMP, uh, and my opponent just lets it go. It makes sense. They're literally at like 1 HP, right? So my opponent lets that go. Uh, so I'm going to see what comes in. It's going to be S Cavalier. My opponent does farm me down. I'm going to bring in Diggers B because I do, of course, have the uh, Fire Punch. So my opponent will throw the Mega Horn. Massive damage. My opponent switches into Gliscor. I bring in this Shiny Frost Slash. Great match. Well, good match. Good match. I mean, Nice Slash is super effective, but our attacks are double super effective. So at this point, uh, I think what I'm trying to do is I'm going to shield this and then commit to the farm down with my Frost Slash. Um, no boost for my opponent, which is good. I do commit to that uh, farm down. I'm going to go ahead and throw the Avalanche. Even if my opponent calls the bait, it doesn't matter. I, my opponent actually does call the bait, but as I said, it does not matter. I do get to another uh, attack. Uh, very nice, my opponent has to shield that, and now I have the Fire Punch with Diggersby, and that is going to be a great game, very well played to my opponent, going to be able to take that one, let's go. So I'm almost done with the third page of the timed research, the battle research, which is really cool. Uh, so we have five pages every season, right, Diggersby into Dugan. Okay, not, not a good ma matchup, right, 
Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and save swap into my Frost Slash. Obviously, Diggs Beat is weak to ice. Um, and we CMP on this attack. I wanted to get it off before my opponent gets off uh, the Icy Wind, so they, they debuff me. Uh, obviously, I want to throw that before I get debuffed, right? My opponent shields it, which is totally fine, and gets off the Icy Wind. Uh, and now in comes Wish Cash. Uh, I'm going to be hit with this mud bomb. It's not going to be enough to KO. I'm going to let it go. I am debuffed. Keep that in mind. But uh, these avalanche attacks still hit like an absolute truck. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and charge up enough for two. Go for one avalanche. Uh, wasn't sure if my opponent would shield one more of these attacks. Uh, and my opponent actually does throw. Good play. Uh, I, was, I was thinking about shield. I decided to shield because I do want to either get the final shield from my opponent or KO that uh, wish cash. So I do go ahead and throw the avalanche and my opponent will shield. So they do commit the final shield. So I get that shield. Very nice indeed. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in Escavalia. I think I go for the farm down. My opponent is going to be able to get off an attack. It's obviously going to be a mud bomb. Uh, so mud bomb is going to connect. And my opponent gets off another one, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this and commit to the farm down so I can get energy on my S Cavalier, and I'm going to go ahead and do just that. So, I do have energy, I uh, didn't want to take that attack, in comes Frost Lass, but two drill runs should be enough to KO the Frost Lass. That's what I'm thinking at least. So we do get off one, I do get off one, another one coming through, is it going to barely KO? I think it does barely KO, so drill run is going to be able to pick up the knocker, you love to see it. Uh, so outcomes do gone, outcomes do gone, uh, my opponent will unfortunately get to an attack which will KO me, but that is okay, I'm expecting to be able to uh, win with Diggersby, yes, I am weak to ice, but Diggersby, if you have a really good rank 1, it's so, so thick, you know how tanky it is, right, I have a rank 2, uh, so I could take the Icy Wind, Ice Shot attacks, uh, and get off this attack, and so that could be enough to KO, I am debuffed. But I'm like, well, you know what? I think a Fire Punch will KO, and I do get to off the Fire Punch. I can't make it to an Earthquake. I'm hoping this KOs. If it doesn't KO, my opponent will get to an attack and win, but no, it does KO. I could have also switched out to catch the move on Diggers B uh, instead of letting uh, S Cavalier go, but I didn't do that. Uh, let's move on, Diggers B, into Wish Cash. Okay, the Blizzard is a threat, right, obviously, uh, so got to be careful for that. Uh, I'm going to be able to get off this uh, Earthquake, and Earthquake will do a lot, uh, and my opponent uh, is going to continue to farm. I'm going to let this go, calling the bait. Even if it's not a bait, it will not KO. Blizzard will do a lot, but it will not KO, but it's actually a Mud Bomb. You love to see it. Uh, my opponent will throw another attack. This one I'll shield. I don't know. Would that KO? I don't know. I think I would live it non-stab. It's a powerful move, so now I can farm up. Uh, I actually throw on CMP here. I didn't really mean to throw on CMP. I, I meant because like I knew that my opponent was not at um, an attack, right? Like I knew they were not at a blizzard. I should say uh, I knew they were at uh, a mud bomb, but I didn't think they would throw the mud bomb. I thought they would try to get to the blizzard, uh, but they didn't. Uh, so out comes Empoleon. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the fire punch. See if possibly I could make it to uh, an earthquake. Uh, after this, my opponent does shield it. Very nice. I cannot make it to an Earthquake. So I'm going to go ahead and throw another Fire Punch. At least I get off that Fire Punch, right? So I'm going to go ahead and throw it right now. I mean, it's neutral damage. Uh, yeah, Diggers B did its job. Bringing in the Empoleon. Uh, do I shield this? I do let this attack go through. Uh, going to be Hydro Cannon. I accidentally exit out of the game. And my opponent brings in Lucario. Which is really, really, really bad for me. Um, so my opponent is gonna go ahead and throw an attack. I know, I know that Empoleon has, uh, has, yeah, has, has an attack ready to go, or they're close to it. So I'm farming up, farming up, farming up, throwing at the last possible second, or uh, maybe not the last possible, but very close. That will be enough to KO, um, and unfortunately my opponent does get off an attack. Literally, I cannot farm them down, uh, so my opponent will be able to take that one. You know, when I accidentally exited out of the game, did that cost me the game? I don't know, maybe. Uh, but either way, good game, well played to my opponent. Moving on, we have a great matchup. My opponent switches into Lapras. I'm going to go ahead and bring in my Escavalia. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a Surf because I know Escavalia, of course, can take a Surf. Uh, very nice. And I'm counting, 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 going to throw on CMP. Throwing the Mega Horn because I wasn't sure that Drill Run would be enough to KO. Lapras is pretty tanky, so I want to make sure it KOs. Uh, and obviously the Mega Horn will be enough. And in comes 
Uh, this Runa Rake is Runa Rake is definitely farming me down, but at least I'm gonna be able to get off this Drawline. Nice damage as Cavalier did its job, so we'll just take that extra damage. Uh, definitely gonna bring in uh, the Diggers B right now because I do resist all these attacks, right? Um, or not all of them, but like I resist it, double resist the Shadow Ball, resist the Rock Tomb if they happen to have it. Sand Tomb is a weak move as we've discussed earlier. Out comes S. Cavalier. So, um, I think I bait and I think they do actually call this. So I'm gonna go ahead and shield, it's gonna be a drill run. Um, and yeah, I'm charging up a lot of, yeah, I, my opponent knows I'm gonna, I mean, there's no way I'm not gonna bait here, right? I could, you know, I'll just save the energy. This is still gonna do a lot, even though it's resisted. As you can see, my opponent does call that, but my opponent actually gave up. Yeah, I was pretty confident in that, that I was gonna win that one as well. So, good game, well played, and I'm gonna go ahead and move into the next battle. Diggsby into Frost last. Okay, so we are weak to ice. Obviously, the Avalanche will do a lot, but my opponent attempts to catch, I think. No, oh, no, 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 I guess not. I guess that was another battle. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this one up. It's going to be an avalanche. Um, charging up. I do go ahead and throw the, uh, the earthquake, actually. I throw the earthquake because I didn't anticipate the shield, and my opponent does not shield. Uh, so now I can get off the fire punch, so my opponent does catch this fire punch. Fire punch may have been the way to go, but either way... Um, I'll take that onto the Lucario, and then I can bring an Escavalier and farm down before my opponent gets to an attack. You love to see it. Uh, very nice, very nice indeed. What is going to come in? Going to be that Frostess. I'm going to be able to throw this attack right now uh, into this Frostess, which will be enough to KO or pick up the shield. I did expect them to shield. My opponent will be able to get off an attack. I do let this one go. Uh, it's going to be an Avalanche. Not enough to KO me. That's fine. Uh, so my opponent will farm me down. They have energy. So I'm gonna bring in the process, expecting my opponent to throw an avalanche. I wasn't sure if they were at the Shadow Ball, but I didn't expect the Shadow Ball because they, they knew I had Diggersby, right? So I didn't I thought they would, would throw the Avalanche even if they had enough energy for the Shadow Ball. Uh, so I took that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and throw my Shadow Ball. My opponent just lets it go, and yeah, that's gonna be a good game now because I could farm that as Cavalier down. Yeah, well played to my opponent. I believe that may have been uh, the last battle. Let's find out. Yes, it was. Thank you so much to my opponents. Really well played to all of them. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.